Hi, and welcome to The Wine Bar, where I bring you bar-inspired workouts and information about wine. Today, we're gonna to be doing a quick, efficient, about 10 minute um, core and leg workout. So I'm not gonna be using any equipment today, but I will be talking about Zinfandel. So all I have with me today is my mat. I have my little booty kicker just set up, but we will just be doing body weight exercises and mostly working on our core and the side of our body. So let's get started. All right, so we're gonna come to um, we're gonna we're gonna do a very little warm up today, which is basically just a plank hold. So we're gonna come down onto our right side, and then we're gonna come out with our elbow directly over our hand, and we're gonna come into a plank hold for about 30 seconds. So we're just warming up the side body, and make sure that you have your shoulder right above your elbow. You don't want to be stressing it. You just kind of want the weight to be going directly onto your hand. Um, if this is too much for your wrists, you can come down into your side like this, or you can put your hand in, in a fist. Or you can do it on top of weights too, if you have um, those, because then you're kind of doing a little um, fist instead of, <laughs> instead of putting on the weight on your hand. So three, two, one. All right, so now we're going to I'm gonna come down onto my onto my bottom leg because I feel like this puts a lot of pressure on your knees. So I'm gonna come down with my bottom leg. I'm gonna have my leg up, and then I'm gonna come with my top leg up, even with my hip, and then I'm gonna come in and do some crunches, all right? So we're just bringing our knee to our elbow, and we're crunching in. And like I said, today we're gonna to talk about Zinfandel, which is a grape mostly known in California. Um, although there are some DNA tests that say Zinfandel has some um, history in Italy, but we'll stick to the California ones today. All right, so five, four, three, two, and one and lower okay so now we're going to come all the way down onto our side and we're going to put go on our elbow and we're going to have our leg come up um hip length again hip hip height and we're going to do um we're going to have the bottom leg out as well and we're going to be doing some rainbows so we're going to go backwards and forwards like we're making little rainbows with our leg and zimbabel is interesting because it kind of got a bad rap in the 90s. It was a very overly extracted, juicy wine that was getting all these crazy points, but with this really high alcohol. And it was really deep and dark and rich, and you could only really drink it if you were eating steak. And it was very crazy how high the alcohol was. So uh, luckily, a lot of winemakers have, in the last 20 or so years, a really um, pared down the alcohol in the Zin, and they make a much more refined, easier to drink type of wine now. Three, two, and one. All right, so now we're gonna sweep our leg forward and back. So we're gonna come forward, and then we're gonna point our toes back. So we kick forward with our toes flexed, and then we're coming back. So forward, and back, and forward, and back, forward, and back, and forward and back. Just a few more. Forward, back. Make sure that you're keeping your leg up to the same height as your hip. And we're really working the outer hip with this one. Forward, back. Two more. Forward, back. And last one. Forward and back. All right. Give your legs a little rest. And now we're going to be doing some pulse ups. So we're still laying on our side. We're gonna bring our leg up with our hip, and now we're just gonna pulse up. So um, there are a few winemakers in Napa who are, that I know of pretty well, that are doing some really interesting Zinfandel. So Hendry, um, his family has owned um, vineyards and land in Napa since the 30s, and Robert Biale also have had vineyards in the, um, three, two, one. All right, and now we're gonna do micro kicks. So we're just bending and straightening, doing little kicks with our legs. So, 
sorry to have such a transition there, but we're just gonna keep doing this. We're doing everything for about 30 seconds, so. All right, um, Robert Bialy, they have a really fun story with their Zinfandel because it's called Black Chicken because it was the um, name that people would say over the party line when they wanted some wine during the uh, 20s when you couldn't get alcohol and they would say, hey, I'd like some you know, tomatoes and lettuce and carrots and uh, black chicken. And then they would give them their little jug of Zinfandel. So I just thought that was a really fun one. And three, two, one. Woo! My outer hip is really on fire right now. All right, so now we're going to come down. I'm going to come into this little 90, you know, 90 degree position with my legs and my hips, and we're going to do clam shells. So this is so this is going to really work that outer hip um, and the inner thighs. So we're just coming up and lowering. We're keeping our abs in, and we're making sure that our back is nice and straight. And then we're just really working right there is like on fire for me right now. So hopefully it is for you. You can feel all the muscles working. This is going to be really good for your hip flexibility and your mo movement um, and just mobility in this area, which can be a little tough if you sit all day. So three, two, one. All right. And now we're going to finish up our little leg series. We're going to come onto our back. So lower yourself all the way down. And then I'm gonna take my legs and put them right into the air. And then I'm gonna lower one leg at a time. So, um, what else can I tell you about Zinfandel? It is really interesting to pair with food. Um, I do tend to think that it goes really well with things that have like a more fruity sauce. I mean, you could do cream sauces as well, um, but it's very much in the same vein as Cabernet, where you want something that's going to stand up to the wine when you are um, drinking and eating them together. So I have my hands a little bit under my hips right here to just give me a little bit more stability. Um, you could also have your hands up like this. <coughs> Excuse me if you wanna challenge yourself a little bit, or you can always come down and just bend your legs as you bring them out. All right, and three, two, one. All right, and for our last position on this side, then we're gonna have to do everything on the other side. We're gonna come into a boat pose. You know, my favorite ending. So we're gonna come up and we're gonna sit back and we're going to raise our legs and bring our hands out. And we have our feet right in front of us and we're just going to sit here like a little boat and let our abs work as we're just having time under tension here. We have about 10 seconds left and then we're gonna, I'm gonna flip over to the other side so we can do everything um, on your guys' right side. And three, two, one, all right. Okay, so now I'm gonna flip over and we're gonna do everything on the other side. So we're starting with the side plank again, right? Which was our little bit of a warm up. Sorry to kind of rush into this, but I wanted to make sure that we got everything in on time. So we're just doing, again, we have our shoulder over our hand and I have my feet right in front of each other. You can have them stacked on top of each other or one knee down, um, whatever is comfortable for you. This is about my limit for the side planks and then I come down onto my knee. It just feels a little rough on my, my knees otherwise. So three, two, one. All right, so now I'm gonna come down onto one knee. I'm gonna keep my arm directly under my shoulder. And we're going to do those knee tuck-ins. So we're bringing our leg up to our hip height, and then we're gonna crunch it in, right? So you're gonna really crunch in with your knee and your elbow. So we're getting that nice length and then crunching it in. We're working our obliques, our abs are in tight, and we're making sure our shoulder stays right over our arm. All right. And three, two, and one. All right, so take a little break, and I am going to come down onto my elbow 
right so we're down on our side and we are going to do these little rainbows again so we have both of our legs out and we're going to bring one foot to the front and then over to the back so we're just going over making little rainbows getting the outside of our hip and we have our elbow directly beneath our shoulder so i'm keeping my making sure i'm not wobbling while i do this so i'm keeping my hand out in front and then you can you know, I like to make it like a real rainbow. I don't want to make it like a McDonald's arch. I kind of like to keep it in the, in the more um, lower plane here. And three, two, and one. Okay. So similar setup. And then we're going to just bring our foot forward. And then we're going to sweep it back. So forward and back and forward and back forward and back forward and back so I'm just trying to think of other Zinfandel facts that would be interesting um, they they tend to get high points so you might see them in wine magazines um, but they're fun to try if you like red wine definitely try them they're gonna be a little fruitier than like a uh, California cab so just keep that in mind but I think they're a good wine to give a try since um, they kind of went through that weird phase, like I said, about 20 years ago. And so if you can, like I always say, make friends with the guy who works at your wine shop or a woman who works at your wine shop and get uh, some recommendations for them. All right. And last two and one. All right. So now just giving myself a few second break here. We're going to bring our leg up hip height again, and we're going to just pulse up. All right, pulse, pulse, pulse. So again, the outside of your hip is gonna really feel this workout, but it's really good for the mobility. So please stick with me. And we're gonna keep our um, feet turned forward and we are going to keep going. We're almost done. Three, two, one, and now micro kicks, little kicks. Like you're just kicking a little golf ball down the down the street, just want to get it out of the way so you don't trip on it. God forbid you spill on a golf ball. Ooh, that would be tough. All right, 15 seconds. And then we're gonna move on to clamshells. So little kicks, I'm gonna go even faster here. Woo, really burn out on those outer hips. And three, two, one, whoo. All right, now I'm gonna come down, all the way down. So again, 90 degrees with my with my knees bent and we're gonna clamshell. So I like to come up kind of onto my toes here and then I go back and forth with my clamshell openings. So we're just opening and closing, working the outer hip again, right? And then we're gonna come into our leg lowers. So about five more seconds, four, three, two, and one all right good job give those hips a little tap C and come onto the back I'm gonna put my hands under my butt again I'm gonna put my legs straight in the air and then I'm gonna come down one leg at a time to just give a little scissor kick and work the front of our abs since we've been doing so many obliques right and then we're gonna do our boat pose and then some stretching and then you guys will be on your way. So, all right, and five, four, three, two, one. All right, lower your legs, come up onto your sits bones, and we're gonna come into that little boot pose. So, last thing here, we're going to keep our legs bent, or at least I am and our arms out straight. You can always bring your legs out straight or bring them to the floor if this is a little too much for you today. Do what you do you. So we got about 15 more seconds, right? This, you can always feel this in your hips, hip creases, but you know that it's working that way, so it's good. Um, we're gonna do some good um, stretching just to make sure that everything is loose after this workout. And three, two, one. Whew. All right. So come into a cobbler's pose 
and I'm just going to do a little back and forth shifting and then I'm going to put my feet together, take my hands and I'm going to keep my back flat as I come out to stretch out your hips a little bit, right? So I just want to make sure that the hip creases are getting some love. So, you know, it's no uh, race or competition to get down. I just want to give everything a stretch out. All right. So now I'm going to come with one leg bent and one leg straight, and I'm going to come with my arm up and I'm going to reach over to the straight leg. Just give it a stretch out. Oof. I'm making sure that I'm keeping my chest forward and then I'm going to come up and I'm going to switch legs. So I have my other leg bent, the other leg straight, and then I'm going to bring the other arm over to the straight leg. Whew, we did a lot of oblique work today, so it must feel really nice to stretch all those muscles out. Even the inside part of your thigh is getting a nice stretch right now. And three, two, one. All right, so now we're going to come into like a little bit of an up dog. So cobra slash up dog. So this is going to just stretch out the um, front part of your ab. So you can either come into an, um, a cobra pose, which my only my chest is coming off the floor, or you can come into a full up dog just to stretch out those ab muscles and give your back some flexion the other way. All right, three, two, one. I'm gonna come into a child's pose. Put your head down on the floor. Feel your arms reaching out in front of you. Feel all the good work that you did today. I really appreciate you joining me and moving with me. All right, and last thing we're gonna do is just a couple of cat cows. So I'm going to release my stomach and bring my head up. And then I'm gonna bring myself up into a cat pose. Back down into a cow. Into a cat. One more cow. And one more cat. All right, so make yourself into a down dog. Pedal out your feet. And bring your hands and legs in together and then slowly round up. Head's the last thing to come up. And do a little shoulder, shoulder circles. And thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate you moving with me today. I hope you learned a little bit more about Zinfandel and I look forward to seeing you next time. Like and subscribe to this YouTube channel and I'll be sure to bring you another great workout next week.